What is going on guys? Somebody's gun here. Really excited to share this one with you because Oh my, this took so much effort and patience to be able to do this and I can't believe I actually got it done, but I was able to heal the champs and what does that mean? How can you implement this strategy and can it be repeated? I'm going to answer these questions for you guys in this video. I hope you enjoy it. Let's dive right in. First, let's break down the math and how exactly the storm is going to damage us, the amount of time we need to heal off for, and then what we need to be successful. So, in this video, I did this all as a solo healing to champs. In the past, I have videos on the small fry heal strat for Cray. I also have the orchard heal strat as a team. You can check those videos out. In this video, as a solo, I need to outheal Storm for a total of 1,460 seconds. That means 24 minutes and 20 seconds. You can take out about a minute of that, so it's about two and a half minutes because Storm doesn't actually close right off the rip, but at the same time, you're not going to be on the ground right away. So give or take, it's about 24 to 23 minutes that you're going to have to stay alive. Now, there's also some math down here below for campfires. I show you what exactly you can gather, whether it be corn, cabbages, or apples between corny complex and the orchard. So here's some math. I'll link this down below, but I found this very important to understand the math behind it. I'm not really going to bore you guys with it. All you really need to know is 5,270 damage is the total amount of damage you're going to take if you're sitting in storm the whole time. So quick math that that's 527 corner cabbages that you need to collect and you can change that a little bit with the wood the apples bandages med kits whatever else you're able to collect while doing the heal strat okay now let me link the path and show you guys exactly how i was doing this so shout out fortnite gg for allowing me to do this but I'm going to land at this gas station right here, grab whatever heals are available, max out either the bandages or med kits from the vending machine, grab a car and then move, run through the corn with the car to knock it down, gather the corn, get what's ever inside this red house, and then stash whatever I can either in this bush right here or right up against the wooden fence right next to this campfire. After I do that, then it really depends on what the zone is like and where I see players. Sometimes I'll go ahead and path my way through all the cabbages in, and corn in orchard and then bring that over to the campfire here at the orchard. But, you know, sometimes this is contested and that's not necessarily the play. So, therefore, I'll take this path, go all the way down to here and grab the cabbages here grab the new IO car, make sure it's gassed up, and head back and then once again drop off all the corn and cabbages at this campfire. This campfire right here at Orchard is what you want to play. I have found that the campfire right next to Spire, when zone is pulling towards this location and you're consistently staying in zone i like to play this better because then you can hide in this little hut right here and put all your heels in the hut and then play this campfire as opposed to the other one either way you have to be flexible it's not like a single way is going to allow you to be successful but one thing i didn't talk about so you're gathering the cabbages you're gathering the corn one thing you need to make sure is every time you're stopping at this campfire, you have to be walking away with at least 450 wood, dropping it off and drop it off every single time. This is a little hard to remember each time, so occasionally you'll forget it and it's kind of a wasted trip, but you need to maximize your wood farming while gathering all of this. Now, you're not always going to be able to get everything, and that's why this has to be adaptable. You have to understand sometimes one path is not fitting all, so you're going to have to take what you can get in this area. Maybe sometimes you're going to have to go for this corn or the cabbage down here and just kind of switch it up based on what you're seeing. Also, you want to make sure that you're picking up med kits, splashes, and somewhat of bandages you don't necessarily want the bandages to be a full loadout but you want to make sure you have some bandages to sustain that way in the one and two ticks you can continue to grab all these heals 
A very important piece of the heal strat is the order that you use your heals. You want to use the bandages and apples in one, two, and five tick. You can sometimes sneak in bandages and apples during the eight tick combined with the campfire. But after eight tick, you want to make sure that you've used up all of the bandages and apples and are now using cabbage, corn, and med kits in the eight and 10 tick zones. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is super stressful. It may not seem like it is, but it is actually a very stressful thing to do. And I was not actually able to win a game. I got a lot of second places, a lot of top fives, but unable to get a win as a solo. Either way, that was able to get me to champs. And you guys can see that this is the best game that I had. I made it deep into ninth zone, about 30 seconds into ninth zone as a solo, which is incredible. So just to help you guys out, and honestly to help myself out, I created this little notepad that helps me identify how many points I need in order to get to where I want to be. So on this left column is the placements, the right column is the points. So I had to get at least 40th not to go negative in Division 5, at least 30th in Division 6, and then at least 20th in Division 7 and 8. Anything after that was a net positive points. You were allowed 175 points total, and then, you know, sometimes you're going to get there. I wasn't able to get that last 50 points, so realistically it was 125 total points for me. And you can see the math uh, about how long it wound up taking me once I was going to even just get to Division 7. Now, a few tips and tricks that I learned while doing this were one, always have a vehicle, whether it be at the end of the game or when you're trying to just get your rotation going, picking up the consumables, it's so much faster to be able to have a vehicle to rotate quickly through these different areas. Secondly, is make sure you're being productive through the first three zones, maybe even zone four once you get comfortable. That way you're either gathering more consumables or more wood. Be careful, sometimes zone does sneak up on you. Now, other than that, there's two small things that I really like is one, you can rotate in to either the slurp truck or the other campfire. So if you're at the orchard campfire, you can go to the spire campfire or vice versa. You can use a pad or a combination of peppers and heels to get there. I like to save the splashes until the very end because you can move them use them while moving. Additionally, there's also the slurp truck nearby. It's not always going to be there, but when it is, that's an extra 10 seconds that you can survive. So make sure to check that and remember to use that at the end of the game. You want to time up your wood so that your last stack of heals is going to be used at the opposite campfire. That way you're not wasting all your wood and you're maximizing the heals of the game. And that's it. That's all I got for you guys. I hope you learned something and that's really how I healed the champs. If you don't believe me, you can check my VODs. I streamed a lot of it on my Twitch channel. The VODs are up there. I don't have every single point that I did on my Twitch channel. You know, sometimes you get frustrated. You want to turn on off the stream. It is what it is. Anyway, that's how I healed the champs. I challenge you guys to try it next season. I doubt I will if I'm being honest, but it's a really cool strategy. I love that this is even possible in this game and 100% possible to win games with this strategy with multiple players. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I hope you learned something. My name is Somebody's Gun and I will see y'all next time.